And do you just put pen to paper to become a Stoke City mm -hmm. player? How does it feel to be here? Oh yeah, delighted. Um, obviously happy to uh, that it's all done and dusted now and just really looking forward to getting in and, and getting training with the lads. What were the reasons for you wanting to come here? Uh, I think the stature of the club, um, obviously the manager, he looks like he's building a big project here and it's something that you want to come and compete in and, and it, again it's, a, it's another chance to be successful. You've been at Sheffield United a number of years, did you feel now is the right time for a fresh challenge? Um, I always thought a fresh challenge was going to be coming and to, to go from Sheffield and, and now hopefully like, get straight stuck into it with Stoke is, is, is obviously um, it's another massive club, unbelievable training ground and big fan base and it's, it's a club that's been successful in the past and, and hopefully I can bring something to be successful now in the future. At the end of last season we lost a lot of experienced players, you know, I think it's important we sort of replenish some of that and make sure we bring good experienced players in that know how to get the job done. Also, it's an area of the pitch, obviously, we need competition in, so and they'll certainly provide that. What are the main qualities that you want him to bring to the side? Um, well, I sort of know him as a lad, you know, I know a lot of people that have played with him, so first and foremost, character wise, he's, he's, he's a winner. You know, he'll be good about the group, uh, he'll put demands on people as well as himself. Also, pedigree, you know, he's been promoted twice for the division. I think it's important that we get people in that know how to win, but particularly at our level, um, and obviously, competition, as I say. So I think that'll be a really good competition at left-back. During your time at Sheffield United, you won two promotions from the Championship. What were the key to those successes? Um, a lot of things. I think, obviously, the team, the group of lads we had, the dressing room, the characters and the quality of player. And um, it's something that I've, I've benefited from and it's something now that I want to bring into Stoke and, and hopefully have that. You know, I think that every change in them, really, their experienced players sort of lead the way and, and sort of are there to lend a hand to the younger lads that have been in maybe that situation for the first time. Um, and also when big games come around, they're normally the calmest guys because they've, they've sort of sampled those games before. He's won two promotions with Sheffield United, so he certainly brings high expectations and high standards, doesn't he? Yeah, I think that, I think what, a couple of seasons ago, he finished ninth in the Premier League with Sheffield United. So I think what it shows you is what he's capable of doing. You know, obviously he's getting a little bit older, but I'm sure he'll be sort of having a point to prove. You know, we had Phil Jagielka last year at 40, who turned out so many different good performances for us. So I think he's a really good addition. Through, the, through a whole season, you're going to have good parts, you're going to have bad parts. You know, it's, it's, it's this, this season, the championship is all about consistency and, and that's what you need. That's what you need to bring to, to, to the league and, and that's what will ultimately give you the best success. You arrive here as one of the more experienced players within the squad. you see yourself as a bit of a leader? Yeah, I'll lead through example. Um, I'll come in and meet the lads and I've got to prove to them and show them uh, what I can do and on the training pitch and prove to the manager why he's signed me. And it's just about coming in the door now and, and building. You mentioned the manager there. How much are you looking forward to working under him? Yeah, no, massively because any time we've played against his teams, it, they've always... Uh, it's always been like a cracker of a game, um, played against his Preston teams. I think the Sunderland team came to Bramall Lane. They were one of the best teams to, to come to Bramall Lane last season. Um, and you know, he's, he's obviously building a big project here and it's something that thankfully I'm a, I'm a part of. We go away to Spain on Monday for a week. How important is that period for you personally to get to know your teammates and the staff? Yeah, it, it's the perfect scenario for me really. Um, you go away to Spain, you're spending every day with them on the training pitch, off the pitch, in the hotels, hanging about. and. Just getting to know the lads, as you said, it's, 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 it's key. Only a few weeks away from the start of the season at home to Rotherham United, you played in front of the supporters before. How much are you looking forward to doing that again? Yeah, no, I can't wait. Obviously, it's a, it's a massive stadium, big fan base, and um, it's something I'm really, really looking forward to.